Hey guys, it's Christine. Welcome or welcome back to my channel where I talk about budgeting in my bullet journal. On this channel, I talk about budgeting as a single mom of two adult kids. I have a son who lives at home with me and a daughter who's away at college. My goals are to get my spending under control, save up for retirement, build an emergency fund, and try to stay out of debt, all while still trying to live life. My short-term goal, however, is to manage a smaller paycheck while watching all of my daughter's games this year. It's her senior year as a college student athlete, and I am determined to be there for all of her games, even if right now it means more expenses and less pay. If you would like to join me on this journey, please consider subscribing, hit that like button, and comment down below if you want to see more content like this. It would help my channel very much. All right, so I just got done filming <laughs> my budget closeout. Excuse me, this is the budget closeout. I just got filming, um, done filming my budget check-in for this paycheck. First paycheck in, no, second paycheck in August, my. Okay, <laughs> I went ahead and did the addition, you guys. It's my most dreaded part because inevitably I always make a mistake which I did down here, <laughs> totally. Um, so I'm gonna just kind of walk you through what I did. Here on in this column right here is my, basically just double checking my numbers um, and having like a small snapshot of what I did. So here's check-in number one in this column and here's check-in number two. And then what I do is I take my starting total from the beginning of the paycheck and I basically subtract what I've spent and I should have an ending total here. So total spent is here. So 2278 plus zero is 2278. 70 minus 2278 is 4722. And you get the gist. So that is what I did all the way down. Anyway, so I'm gonna go ahead and do this part right here, which is um, adding up what I spent. Um, in each group, so 2278 plus 10919 plus 8845 plus 7585, 7585, 45 cents, 4126, and that's three, 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 seven. Point nine eight. Another thing I like to do too is to compare the total ending to the total left and these should all match. I get this number by adding up everything in this column here so it wouldn't make sense to add up this column here. So what I do is similar to how I got the totals that way, I get the total this way. So I'll do the new total from the beginning of the paycheck which is $554.02 then I subtract my total spent 337.98 and that should be 216.04 and then it matches. So it's good. And then same thing here for gas and car, I spent $216.50. Um, hotels, you guys, I spent $764.10. Um, just in the last two weeks, which is crazy. Um, yeah. I kind of wish we could sleep in my daughter's apartment, but it's technically a dorm and it would just n not work to have all of us in there. Um, plus, it's not fair to the other students. Um, yeah. But I do, sometimes I wish, oh, why did I do it that way? Okay, that's what happens when I talk. So 893 was my starting total. And then I spent 103060. And so it's a negative 13760, which matches with that over there. Okay. So math math wise, we're doing good. <laughs> Spending-wise, not so much. Um, anyway, 
So 41, 36, 40, and then 114, 97. Um, in my last video, I did mention that we were trying to get my daughter through college debt free. She did take out some loans for summer, but because of because of the loan forgiveness, I believe she qualifies for the loans she took out in the summer and um, not just the summer, but previous summers because her um, some of her scholarships don't include summer. So uh, anyway, so she might actually have to take out another loan this, I believe either this semester or next semester, but um, because of the loan forgiveness, it won't be as big. So that's that. I'm very thankful. Um, I know she will be, and she has been, a very productive member of society. She has worked since she was 16, and I know she would work and does work when she can. So, anyway, so for that, I did it again. So 90 minus 196.33. 10633. Um <clears throat> I just say that because it's it's kind of a controversial topic, um, the whole loan forgiveness thing, but I know it'll be helpful for helpful for her, especially since she might want to go get her masters. Um yeah. <laughs> so it's a whole thing um to be saddled with so much debt when you're still a kid. I mean, yeah, she's she's 21, but she's, you know, she's still a kid. Um, and now she doesn't have to worry about, you know, the, the few thousand dollars that she did take out during the summer. <sighs> okay, so $802.28. All right, so this is my very busy <laughs> tracker. All right, so I'm gonna try to work this out with you guys. Um, and hopefully it works out. Um, I went ahead and got what my balance is in my um, T-Mobile account. So for my T-Mobile account, that spans the variable expense categories. So this group and also this travel group. Sinking funds is totally different and this daughter account is totally different. So I should probably get, I'll get the totals for those in a little bit. So let's see what we're working with up here. Start with, start out with gas and car. So I'm gonna keep that at 63.50 for right now, just because we do have next weekend, that's not this coming weekend, but the following weekend, that's gonna be a little bit more travel heavy um yeah so after that we'll figure it out and i'm not gonna take out the money that i had spent and i'm just gonna keep this at 213 and then for parking and um tickets that stays at 160 and let's just see where we're at there So 6350 plus 213 plus 190 plus 160 is 62650. So if I take that away from 85397 that gives me 22747. So let's see what we have here. So for gas and car work, okay, let's say household is zero, eating out is zero, 64.91, I don't want to mess with the copays, 64.91, I don't want to mess with the meds. Thirteen fifty-five. 
Um, all right, so that leaves me with, all right, fund money is not going to get cut. Allowance is going to get zero. And categorize is going to get zero. So I've got 4901. Let's just keep groceries at thirty five twenty six. So these that leaves me with thirteen seventy five, which I think I'm gonna put in household. Um, I'm gonna have to watch my spending and eating out because. This was way too much, seventy five eighty five, especially when we're trying to, you know, be more on the cheap side. Um, this fifty two sixty one was way too much. Note to self: Do not give my son and mom my credit card. <laughs> um, yeah. So let's see. Let's just make sure. Let's make sure these numbers add up. So 3526 plus 1375 plus 6491 plus 1351 plus 100 is 22747 and plus the 62650 is 85397. So I am good there. All right, so these numbers are going to move forward to my next budget. I am keeping all these numbers the same except I'm adding a dollar to gifts and giving. I got a dollar's worth in interest in this account, so I'm going to put that in gifts and giving. So that'll have 49.39 and it's like exactly one dollar so I have like eight hundred three dollars and thirty eight cents in this account um, this is its own separate account and let me just go take a look at that really quick oh it is at eight dollars and sixty four cents so I'm gonna leave that here laundry zero this is zero eight dollars and sixty four cents so basically i am gonna have to figure out how i'm going to pay my credit card this amount the 114.97 um i believe this is on my on my main credit card yes it's on my main my Bank of America credit card um, and then my hotels are on my new Citibank credit card so I'm gonna have to take care of that too I'm gonna have to figure out what the minimum payment is and make sure I meet or exceed that amount so right now it's got $213 sitting in there like a sinking fund and I'm going to use that $213 towards the minimum payment and um, yeah, just take it from there. I know minimum payments are not the best, you know, it's not... <sighs> I know taking out more debt in the form of credit card is bad. I know the in interest that comes with it. I know you're not supposed to pay just the minimum, but right now this is going to have to do until I can figure out um, where everything falls. I really need to, f you know, cut back on the unbudgeted spending. I know this was uncategorized. Um, but yeah, it was, you know, if I have to dip into my emergency fund, I will. Um, there's also the issue of um, 
transportation. She is, my daughter is wanting a bike and because I will not buy her a car because I can't afford to buy her a car and she's not in a position to buy herself a car, um, I might have to just go ahead and get her a bike. Um, she has been taking the bus and once in a while I'll, you know, like send her money for an Uber or a Lyft, but that gets pretty pricey. So, um, yeah, we're, we're trying to figure out, um, getting her a bike and that's another expense that is, you know, not budgeted for, but we'll make it work. We'll figure something out. I do have some cash stashed away that I don't really talk about on this channel because I'm trying to hide it from myself. Um, the cash is from back when I used to do cash stuffing. I have like one envelope, one, two, I probably have like four envelopes with cash just sitting in there. Um, and I don't want to take it out because I'm afraid I'm going to spend it. <laughs> anyway, okay guys, this is the, this is the closeout. So let me, let's get back to the closeout part of this deal. Okay. So I know this went through because I saw it. And then I know this went through because I saw it. Yeah. Okay, so what I typically like to do at the end of my budget when I'm closing things out is to make sure that I've paid off my credit cards to zero. That obviously didn't happen today, um, but I'm gonna go ahead and work on that. And um, some of these did clear, the ones with the dots, the ones without the dots, I have to double check on those. Sometimes they take an extra day before they clear, but you know, we should be good. The Old Navy should be good, should be zero. The Chase should be zero, or if anything, I might still have that $9.99 on it. But, um, you know, the closing date is not for a while yet, so I'll definitely get that down to zero. Bank of America, that's got these books on there for my daughter, so I'm going to need to um, pay those off. And to zero that out, and then also, of course, the Citibank with the hotels is probably the only one that's going to be carrying a balance. Um, not my favorite thing to do, not very popular, especially in the budgeting community to like, you know, we're supposed to be trying to get out of debt, not, you know, jumping into it, but that's, you know, it is what it is. That's where I'm at. I'm hoping by December or January that the Citibank will be totally paid off. Um, you know, it is going to be about $3,000 all in all. I'm already sitting at $764 and it's, you know, the season has just started. So I know it's going to be a lot, but it, it is worth the sacrifice for now. Um, and I'm still working on, you know, reaching my other goals. Like I've got my $3,000 emergency fund. I'm still contributing to my Roth IRA. And for the most part, I'm not like keeping balance on my credit cards. This is the Citibank with the um, travel expenses for the hotel is the only one that's going to have a rolling balance. And yeah, that's what I'm doing with that. <laughs> Anyway, that's it for this video, you guys. This is real life. <laughs> it's my life. Um, I hope you found it helpful or relatable. Um, I know things are not perfect um, and I'm not trying to be perfect and I just want to let you know that it's okay if you hit some bumps in the road as long as you have a plan to get out of it um, and know that other people are going to be behind you, supporting you, cheering you on. I'm definitely going to be one of those people because <laughs> I am not perfect. And even though sometimes I beat myself up, you know, I'm hoping that I can let someone else out there who might be going through something similar know that, you know, it's okay. It's okay if you have like, you know, real life stuff happening to you or you're choosing 
to do some things that might go against the the norm you know for the budgeting community like it's okay you know what what is normal normal is whatever you want it to be basically i hope you guys are having a great day and i really appreciate you being here and sticking to the end of the video um if you would be so kind as to subscribe if you liked this kind of content <laughs> i have better videos i swear um just click through you know the channel anyway so comment down below um oh and to the folks who watch me normally like would you do you prefer me doing the math on camera or like off camera because sometimes on camera gets to be too long and then i get frustrated at mathematical mistakes <laughs> but if you enjoy watching me making mathematical mistakes um let me know that too in the comments down below because there's definitely plenty of white out you know i have there's more white out here i can entertain you with <laughs> <laughs> with my calculator shenanigans um but yeah i will see you guys in the next video i'll talk to you later bye